Hey guys, Frozen Nexus here. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a Tech at Legends server. As you can see, I have one already running over on the side. For this, you're going to need a, first of all, a working Minecraft account, and then you're going to need to go download the Technic Launcher, which, you know, that's pretty obvious. It allows you to download Tech at Legends. You don't need to install regular Minecraft or anything, and you're also going to need to download the Tech at server, or the Tech at uh, legend server which the links to these will be in the description so don't worry about it too much I'm not going to show every, all that on screen once you've downloaded it what you need to do is find it in your downloads for me it is right here you need a right click you're going to need WinRAR if you don't have a link to that the link is in the description literally just follow the basic instructions of how to install it it's extremely simple you may need to restart your computer I don't know for sure or not but yeah, it's extremely simple. I don't need to show you how to do it. It's WinRAR. You probably already have it anyway. Instead of just the regular file destination, go to your desktop. Make sure you click Make New Folder. Uh, I call mine just Server, but for this it'll be Server Video because I'm not actually going to be using a server. Click Extract. And this will take a few seconds to do. Nothing too long. It is 113 megabytes, so you know it's not going to be instantaneous extraction but at least it doesn't take as long as some of the other stuff you might have to extract like you know if you pirate video games which of course I don't do that's illegal that takes a while to do but yeah I'll cut back once this is done alright hey guys the extraction has just finished once you're done you can just go ahead and open up the folder I already did it there but whatever I'll do it again and what you need to do first off is just go ahead and start the file it's going to do some crap in the background. It's going to just build all the uh, build all the files and whatnot. It's just going to take a few minutes. It takes a little longer the first time you start it up than it will any of the other times. This will look like a bunch of gibberish. You might get thrown a couple of errors, but it should still work. Everything will work out fine, so don't stop this. Do not close this window for any reason right now. That would be really bad. And it's preparing to spawn the area that means it's procedurally generating the map so it's almost done and as soon as you see unloading dimension one just go ahead and type stop it'll save your world and then you can hit any key and it'll close that out once you've done that click server and click open with you're gonna wanna ch choose notepad if you have notepad plus plus it's even easier alright come in here and find your server port default is 25565 I'll leave it as that for this because that is, you know, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it'll, it'll just be easier for you guys. But the level seed, and pretty much all this, you can leave empty. The only reason you need to come in here is if you're going to change your server port. Like if your port 25565 is already uh, being used. But yeah, uh, server IP, if you want to use Hamachi, you would have to put your Hamachi IP in there. But instead of doing that, I'm going to show you guys how to port forward, which it's pretty simple also if you do change the server IP if you're using Hamachi make sure you save this if you don't save it then it's not going to do anything I mean that's pretty obvious but okay sorry I need to find CMD once you've done that you're gonna type in here I'll try and make this bigger for you get well of course it only goes that way type in IP config if I can type correctly there we go IP config I'm going to blur out everything except for my default gateway because I don't really care if you know what my default gateway is, but yeah, my IP address is on here. Well, not my IP address, my IPv4 address, but I don't want you guys to know what that is. You will need to use yours. As you can see right here, this IPv4 address, you will need to use this later, so remember that number and the default gateway. You're going to need that too. I don't care if you see this number, but you know, actually... I don't even give a shit if you see my IPv4 address. I can just change this shit if anyone tries any bulk shit. I'm not going to show my actual IP though because I'm not retarded. That would be terrible. Once you've done that, you need to type in your, you know, uh, default gateway. Mine is 192.168.0.1. Yours could be anything else. I have a Eris program uh, or Eris router. The my password and username is admin admin. I've since changed it, so don't try and think that'll work. But you know, it, it only works if you're on my connection anyway. So it's not like you can hack me with this. So whatever. I'll put a link to common 
uh, username and password combinations based on the companies in the description because that's how I found mine. I had no idea what it was. If you're unable to find it, call your ISP, your ISP being Comcast, Time Warner Cable, or if you live in a different country, I don't know what kind of ISPs you have, but your equivalent of Comcast. So yeah, if you have Aris, I go to Advanced and Port Forwarding. Some people it's under Firewall and Port Forwarding, but just look around and find the Port Forwarding option. Now, I'm going to have to blur out a bunch more information here, which, eh, well... No, this isn't showing anything. My, I'm looking around making sure my IP is nowhere on this screen. <laughs> Alright, so what you need to do is click Create IPv4. And what this is going to do is bring you to this page. The external IP address and start and end port can be left completely empty. That is not what we're interested in. It is the local IP address and start and end port. This is where you put your IPv4 address. If you go back to CMD you can actually what you can do is click mark and then select it and then right click oh sorry <laughs> I messed it up mark it ah mark it and then you have to hit control C which that does work that's the only way you can copy from CMD and there you go and for port mine is 25565 so once you've done that click Oh wait, don't sorry, do not click apply first. You need to put protocol on both because Minecraft uses both TCP and UDP as well as Gmod, Halo, any of those other games. And where it says enabled, make sure it's on. I mean that's that's pretty obvious, like realistically, and then click apply. Once you've done that, you should see that the server is here under the two five five six five port and you know you can put a description like I have MC for my, the server that I currently use and for you to figure out your IP you can just just type what is my IP into Google I'm not bringing it up because then I have to blur it out and then yeah I don't want to have to deal with that but yeah just Google what is my IP it Google will tell you what your IP is and once you've done that you can go ahead and start your server back up and once it's done booting up, what, and you'll see unloading dimension one, it will be working again. So I'm going to join or open up Minecraft again, and I will be right back once I have uh, can sh prove to you the server is up. All right, and hey guys, I'm back, and as you can see, here's my main server, which is the window on the right here. That's the one that all me and my friends play on, and then the one on the left is well now it's on the right is this server right here and as you can see it's up anyone can access it oops didn't mean to add server I meant join server and there you go uh, the server will not fully be up until you see the unloading dimension one you will probably see it right on the screen there I'm going to mark it for you this is the message that is the that says the entire server is up so just kinda wait for that and then obviously to stop the server and save it is just hit stop and I'm just gonna show you a few things obviously it stopped it because server closed now uh, what I wanted to show you is how to change like the message mess message of the day and things like that so go into server and message of the day is at the very bottom here you can change that to anything that's up to you uh, PVP you can change that to false uh, make sure the F is a lowercase f and you spell it correctly unlike me. You can turn hardcore mode on. You can turn online mode to false. What that does is it allows people with unauthenticated accounts to join your server. Which, I mean, that doesn't really help you unless you have a few friends who don't actually have enough money to pay for the game. But, yeah, you can turn off spawning uh, animals. Put on a whitelist. Once, if you put on a whitelist though, make sure that you uh, actually add people to the whitelist here's the whitelist file um, yeah you just have to go in there edit add people or you can go through the server and add them to the whitelist through server commands but that takes a bit longer level seed you can customize the seed that it is level type is default always leave that true you can always turn off uh, pl announce player achievements you can allow flight if you want uh, you can rename the world you can allow the nether or not depends on how good your computer is I have a pretty decent rig so I leave the nether on for me 
and that's about it you can turn the difficulty settings to uh, the difficulty settings are right here I believe it's uh, 0 1 and 2 which is easy being 0 which has no enemies 1 being normal and 2 being hard and uh, yeah that's about it generate structures obviously view distance leave that as is uh, max players is the last thing I I can probably run about 20 players before my internet starts to give out, so I leave it at about 20 players. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys learned something. I will be making a video on how to add plugins to a TechIt server, but once I have, I have to figure out how to do that first. I've been having some trouble with it, and I may actually have to, you know, do some nifty little fixes. That, but I'll be definitely sure to include those in the video. And yeah, hope you guys liked it. Peace out.